Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12, Acts chapter 2 verse 10, and Colossians chapter 3 verse 17. Let's go ahead and pray and we get started. Thank you Father God for another word. Thank you for another day. You give us life, health, strength, breath. We say thank you. Thank you for not forgetting about us like we forget about things you never forget we say thank you in jesus name we pray amen all right you guys hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 for the word is living and active sharper than any two-edged sword piercing to the division of soul and of spirit of joint joints and of marrow and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart All right. And so this is talking about the fact that the word of God is alive, right? Remember, Jesus is the word made flesh, right? But the word of God is alive because God's word is him, right? And so it says, for the word of God is living and active. So that means that it's not staying still and living. It's moving. It's breathing. Have you ever heard a word from the Lord and it was just alive in you, right? You couldn't get, you couldn't stop moving. It was animating you. It was making you move around. It was making you do something. It says sharper than any two-edged sword. So remember when we study that two-edged sword, it's talking about the fact that the sword can go in and cut and it can come out and cut. Right. And so it says piercing to the division of soul and of spirit. So where it's going in and cutting, where it's coming out and cutting, right? It, it's it's cutting between that soul and that spirit, right? That fleshly nature and the part of you that is created by God, right? So um the the part of you that is the spirit of God that he has put inside of you, right? So it's going to divide those two. It's going to tell you the difference between those two and and it's going to let you know, hey, this is where the God standard is, right? And it says of joints and of marrow. So our ability to move, our ability to stay connected, right? In the, in the word, it says, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. So going into those deeper parts, those hidden parts, the world is able to get down in there and cut, Right. And so when the word of God begins to move and it begins to cut and it begins to do things, you have to make a choice. You necessarily have to um, go forward and make a decision. Right. Now, people think that the passive decision is just not making a decision at all, but not making a decision at all is a, a decision right? That is a choice in itself. And so when you are encountered by the word, when there's a cut, right, something's going to go right and something's going to left. you must make a choice, right? Because not making a choice is a choice. And so we need to um, discern the thoughts and intentions of our heart by letting the word get down in us, by letting that word get down into the joint in the marrow right? Um, let it, let it be that two edged sword that, that is going in and coming out and leaving no prisoners, right? Because we want to be on sure footing. We want to hear the voice of God and we want to go forward and do. Amen. All right, you guys. So the next verse is Acts chapter two, verse 10. Phrygia, Phamphyla, Egypt, and parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene and visitors from Rome. So these are all the people who had come up on Pentecost for the festivities. Remember, they were a feast um, and and it wasn't just... um, it wasn't um, Pentecost just yet. It became Pentecost for the believers, right? And so they were there um, enjoying the festivities and um, the spirit of the Lord fell on um, the people in the upper room. And and here they could hear the mighty works of God in their own language, 
right in their own tongue which was absolutely unheard of you know that that was almost um you know very rare and impossible for a bunch of Jewish people to be speaking in tongues and speaking in the the foreigners native language right and so when they heard that they were hearing God's word right they were speaking of the mighty works of God but they were they were hearing God's word they were listening to God when they were listening to these people speak in tongues and guess what that sword came in right and they had to make a decision whether or not they wanted to accept Jesus as their savior and lord right so it was up to them they no one was going to force them but remember not making a choice is making a choice right and so um as 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 the people are encountering the word as the people are encountering this miraculous miracle. Cause remember it was prophetic in nature and they were speaking in the people's native tongues. They had a choice. They could go to the right or they could go to the left. They could decide, Hey, I'm going to stick with God. I'm going to do his thing. Or they could, they could, um, toss it out or do nothing with it and and it just dies it withers and dies right but God wants us to make a choice all the foreigners he brought in here right all the the different tribes of the world right and and they have to make a choice when that word hits them when it cuts down the the choice is clear Right. But everyone does not make the same choice and we all need to make the choice for Christ. Amen. All right, you guys. So the third verse um, is Colossians chapter three, verse 17. And whatever you do in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God, the father through him. All right, and so this is actually a reflect, reflection of that first verse, right? Let's look back at that first verse. Um, the, for the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of spirit and of joints and of marrow and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. So remember, when we get cut by that word, it's our choice to go the way of Jesus or to go the way of the enemy, right? You you can feel better because, hey, um, you know, I don't have to listen to all that. I don't have to do all of that if you walk away. But that's a temporary amount of time that you're going to be happy with that decision. We need to make a decision for Christ. Why? Because it's what you do for him that's going to last it says, and whatever you do in word or in deed, so that means the words that come out of your mouth as well as the actions you perform are all going to um, lead you to to give thanks, right? Um, that should be in, his, in our agenda, always giving thanks, always giving praise. It says, whatever you do in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus. God wants to give you credit um, in heaven, but if you never say it was him who helped you, if you never, if you never say, hey, it was God who convicted me, it was, it was God who changed me, right? You're not going to reap the harvest from that thing. It says, and whatever you do in word or in deed, do everything. In the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God, the Father, through him. We can give thanks to God, the Father, through Jesus. And, and we, we, can, we can boldly approach his throne through Jesus, right? Um, but whatever we're doing in word or in deed, it says in whatever you do in word or in deed, do everything. In the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God, the Father, through him. So Jesus, God has a way 
It is through his son, the one who cuts, the one who is the word made flesh, right? And it is for everyone. It is for everyone. Everyone can come under this righteous covering. And it says, and whatever you do in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God, the father through him. All right. And so um, when we do what we do, make sure you're giving God all the praise, right? And, and, and do it in his name. Don't just do it to look good. Do it so that he can get fame out of it. Amen. Let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for your word. Thank you for letting it come in and convict us and cut us and 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 show us that you are Lord. You are Savior. You are our God. You are our friend. Lord God, help us to spread the gospel. Help us to spread that word that cuts. Help us to do your will and help us to do it in your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Take care and be blessed.